guys, it's finally here. We got a bounce bash. Hold on, don't get super excited. It might not be good. It might not be bad. So, I didn't even look at it yet. I didn't even look at it. I'm doing it around the first impressions. Didn't even look at it yet. From what I heard from my from the leaks, I was I couldn't say anything. I heard Yen Hong skill three getting increased in cooldown. We'll see if that's true. Uh, Ragdoll was already we were talked about. It was already accidentally implemented. Unless they changed it, I don't know. Uh, Fairy King skill one change. Molong skill two change. That's what I heard from the leaks. Let's see. I didn't hear anything else though. So let's actually see what's in the monster balancing patch. Let's see if those are correct or not. Sky Dancer, Light, Charge, Vitality. Now, cool time turn increased. So my source was right, but I couldn't say anything. Dragon Knight, Dark, uh, Tooth for Tooth. So this is meta already meta changing. I'm seeing Desert Queen, Panda Warrior, Panda Warrior, Panda Warrior, Fairy. Okay, it's it's already a balance patch that is meta changing at least to some extent. Cooldown turn. They didn't change the skill, just added one to the cooldown. Fair. Feel like that's fair. Didn't make the skill different, just added one cooldown. Uh, same thing for Dragonite. Now, he was inc he was 10% when he was first released, and people complained that it wasn't good enough. And now, he's also, RTA wasn't around, right? It was just, they're basically like, oh, I can't use my dungeons and giants be 10. Uh, so, a little bit different, a little bit different here. Um, so, yeah. Change uh, that that was already leaked beforehand though. Uh, accidentally put in the game. Desert Queen win delayed promise decrease attack bar by seventy five percent. Resets attack bar of the enemy target decrease the attack bar of the other enemies by thirty percent. Fair, fair. Not anything too crazy. Panda War Water Light. Oh, I'm so scared to read this. I'm scared to read this because I own half these monsters. Uh, each Drake has a 15% chance to remove beneficial effects and stuns for one turn. Third attack removes beneficial effects and stuns for one turn. The third attack? Oh, no, 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 the third of the, the third of the hits. Third attack removes beneficial effects and stuns it for one turn, 25% chance each. Let's see. I mean, it was already, like, look at it. It was already 15% chance, right? So, uh, we'll see. We will see. That is a nerf, though. I liked it the other way around, but... He's definitely, it's it's definitely nerfed him. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But it's definitely nerfed him, okay. Uh, Pandy Warrior, Fire, Panda Supremacy, inflicted damage increased by 14%. Good for speeding up raids a tiny bit for the people that are running the uh, standard raid teams. Panda Warrior, Dark, Almighty Strength is now passive, which was kind of leaked. It was, it was, uh, it was actually leaked that it was gonna change to passive. So I wonder also if the water, uh, the, the other, the, the water fish, Whatever name, I don't even care. Uh, Water Mermaid is also changed to a passive as well. Uh, Almighty Strength changed to a passive before AoE, uh, decreasing their attack power for two turns, cast shields on itself. So AoE DPS. After decreasing the incoming damage by 35% of the whole team, or just you? Increase the damage dealt by 50% if the enemy has lower attack power than yours. Recovers the HP 30% of damage dealt with every attack during your turn. So, so he basically has a set of vampire and I don't know if this is a full team decrease of incoming damage, which would be very strong, or uh, increases uh, or inc decreases the incoming damage by 35% on just yourself. So he's basically a tanky bruiser, self-sustaining tanky bruiser. If the enemy has lower attack power than yours, okay. I guess we'll have to see if that is a full team decrease incoming damage. That, that's too OP, though, if it was a full team. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Fairy King, Serenity, remove beneficial effect, 30% chance, incre and now increases chance of the enemy delaying a glancing hit for two turns. 30% chance on each strike. No beneficial effect removal. RIP Daphnis! Daphnis, you got a nerf. Oh, hold on. Fairy King, fire, hellfire. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, Fairy King, fire... They- they buffed Daphnis! I'm sorry guys, hold on, hold on. I'm okay, I'm okay. Decrease HP of yourself and the enemy target by 30% each flame decreases- We know what it does, we know what it does. After, removes all beneficial effects granted on the enemy. Decrease the HP of yourself and the enemy target by 30% with flame, decrease the HP, uh, de great damage, and shield. Okay. So now, it's almost the same, but it removes all beneficial effects on the enemy.
So now it is a full strip. And then big damage. It's better. Can we use Daphnis now? We kind of can use Daphnis. Well, Daphnis was usable before, but it was just like, ah. What is, what, how, how, how many turns? How many turns though? I'm trying to, th man, I'm trying to wrap my head around these, but I really am. But I'm like trying to think of how I feel about this. Like, it's definitely better. It's definitely better. I will absolutely play with him. I wish they changed. I don't know if they're going to change his base stats. I kind of wish that his base stats were a little bit better. If his base stats are increased later on in the patch, then... I'm super excited about him, right? Uh, Fairy King, Dark Discernment Passive, decreased chance of the ally be granted with harmful effect. Now 30%. Okay, so a little buff to the Dark Fairy King as well. Uh, Wind Paladin, Justice Strike, uh, is now decreased attack bar with a 35% chance is now 100% chance. Okay, and Paladin Light recovers the HP when you attack during your turn. Okay. Was it, was it always? Was it even on Revenge recovering HP as well? So they changed the, uh, changed the first skill. Water Hell Lady, Eternal Scar, destroys the enemy ma max HP by 50% of the inflicted damage, is now uh, amount of damage inflicted by the second attack. So only the second, so buff to the damage output, and based on how much damage the second skill does, uh, the, the, or the second attack does, is how much destroy it does. I wonder, what, what do you guys uh, that actually have the Water Hell Lady, I don't have her, I have her on the free to win account, I can't actually use her on that account though. But uh, I wonder how you guys feel about that. I guess we'll find out. Water Light Monkey King buff! Monkey King buff! Uh, I'm sorry, hold on. Oh my god, they buffed everything! They buffed everything we wanted to get buffed! Seriously though. Um, attacks all enemies, decrease their attack bar by 30%, absorbs the attack bar by 30 when the enemy is under harmful effects. Now, as attacks all enemies, stuns them for one turn, 75 Oh, Oh, yeah, ho, ho! Increase your attack bar by 25. Yes! Monkey buff! Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. The light monkey was already usable. Now he's even better. <laughs> GG. Now he's even better. Love it. Um. Damn. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Fire beast monk. Crushing blow. Used to be. Oh, used to be inflicts damage. Continuous damage, which is whatever. Now removes a beneficial effect granted on the target. Fire Beast Monk as well. They are listening. Oh my god. 75% chance to do disturb dar targets HP recovery. Now 75% chance to silence. Two turns silence. Yo, the Fire Beast Monk got a decent buff. Oh my god. Super sweeping waves. Sounds for one turn. Now two turns. Everything we wanted. Everything. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Oh, it is. It is almost Christmas. Never mind. It is almost Christmas. Uh, wow. Comptos actually. Calm to us. You listened. Thank you for listening. Fantastic. Actually, actually listening to the community. Regardless of whether or not these things are going to be changed from like low tier to high tier to RTA or blah 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 blah. All of these things are buffed, are more relevant. The things that were super OP have been slightly decreased in OPness. And the <laughs> it sounded like I said something else. Uh, and the things that were lower tier or we felt needed buffs, basically all getting buffs. All getting buffs. Uh, oh, I see a wind. Oh, I see wind phoenix. We'll get to that. See Emperor Water. Uh, we already went. Uh, we, we already got to that. Uh, Light Dragon Armageddon redistributes the HP of allies and enemies, excluding the boss before inflicting damage. Before his nuke? Real? Wow! Interesting. So I'm gonna have to take a look at the mechanics of that's crazy. Uh, I guess it would be situational on. Yo, you know what? I just figured this out. That that is a great uh, anti Lucian for arena defense. That on Nemesis is a super anti Lucian. Nemesis proc redistribute HP of allies and enemies, and then just nukes the enemies. That's not bad for arena defense on Nemesis. Okay. Wind Phoenix, Tempest, increase the attack bar. <laughs> he basically gets an additional turn! Okay, Wind Phoenix was not really meta relevant. Damn, damn. He, he was he was a phenomenal Giant's B10 unit and, and good for farming when the AI worked, but. Okay, Pioneer Fire, Pioneer Buff! You recover 5% uh, instead, decrease enemy attack bar. 
15% per beneficial effect removed from each enemy. So if they have shield and will, it will now strip and reduce attacking. Yo, come to us! Really? What the hell, man? Uh, Polar Queen Water got a buff! Freezes for one turn, 50% chance on each strike. Oh my god! Fire Captain! Fire Pirate Captain! Detonate- Like, that's- all. Oh my god! Okay! Okay! Detonation shot. Effect added. Instantly gains another turn if you set off the bomb. Okay, so he can set off the bomb and then he can AoE stun. That doesn't make him like super, oh my god, we build him, but makes him better. Makes him better if we're using a bomb team. Uh, then we have Fire Mermaid Burning Hearts. If your HP is 50% or lower, stuns the enemy for two turns now. Okay, instead of one. That's a little bit of a buff to her. Water, Song of the Sirens. Uh, change to a passive skill. Sings an irresistible song, seduces all enemies, puts them to sleep for one turn. Now, reduces the time from harmful effects, except an ability back. Reduce- I have her built in. I think max skill, actually. That I never used. Uh, reduces the time of all harmful effects, except inability effects, grant all allies by one turn, recovers the ally with a lowest HP status by 10% of your HP every turn. Reduces time of harmful effects, except inability effects. So defense breaks, attack power breaks, etc, etc. Interesting. She's not OP, but she's... different. She's a completely different unit. Fire and Light Vampire. Hold on, no building agreement. Attack one time is now two times. Total damage remains the same. So, the Fire and Light Vampire. Let's talk- and of Water Vampire! Oh my god! Really? Really, 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 really? Wow. Um, so now... Feel absolutely free to- Because I used to say that for uh, Dragon's B10, sometimes you don't want to skill up Vertiheal's second skill because the increase of attack gauge by uh, twice with the first skill for Vertiheal is better than um, than the second skill, only increasing the attack age a little bit. Now, also hits twice, right? So now, feel free to skill up your Vert. I wouldn't put Devilmons into him necessarily because it just cares. You just care about his passive. But if you have extra vampires, you want to feed the Vertiheal. If you want to fuse more vampires for Vertiheal, by all means, there's no downside now. There's no downside to skilling up Vertiheal skill too. Really cool. Uh, and then the Light Vampire is now attacks two times, so that's even better against, like, for example, uh, Triana passive. Total damage remains the same, though. Okay. Uh, Water Vampire, Killing Wave, before attacks with a group of bats, damage increases if you're less wounded, now attacks up to five times, depending on your HP status, damage also increases the HP, enemy's HP status decreases. We'll have to play around with that, I have him built in maxed. Uh, Cobalt Bomber, Fire, Meteor Bomb, immediately sets off the bomb if the enemy has bomb. Ooh! Wait a second, Meteor Bomb? This is my alt, by the way, guys. This is my alt. Which skill is the Meteor Bomb? Which skill is the Meteor Bomb? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this, is this the new, is this something we build now? I can't find him. I'm stupid. I'm too stupid to figure this out. Here he is, serious. Ciara who? Why do we need Ciara now? Oh my god. Hold on, no, 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 no. Think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. Um, fire Meteor Bomb. Immediately sets off the bomb if the enemy has bombs. Because isn't this an AoE? Or is this random? You just have a double bomber team that you don't even need Ciara for. Oh, okay, that's that's a that's a little Ciara nerf, isn't it? That's a little see. Well, we'll we'll see him in action. Um, I don't know if this is. I should have just re-looked and saw if it was. But yeah, okay. Uh, Wind on Dine Spirit's blessing is now thirty percent HP recovery. Very nice. Death Knight Fire Extortion disturbs HP recovery for two turns. Just a little buff to him. Uh, Wind and Dark Dark and Pepper Priest Block Flow. Um, extend time of beneficial effects and shorten the time of harmful effects. Recovery amount proportion to the attack power. Um, requires the HP by 10% each. Increases per harmful effect. Uh, okay, so nothing too crazy. Uh, Fnatic is now cool time seven turns. Chloe buff in 2018. Lulz. Uh, Imp champions. They had to throw some three stars into there, of course. Uh, continuous damage, 100% chance. Okay. With the spear charge. Flamethrower inflicts continuous damage for three turns if you get a critical hit. 
with the flamethrower. Skill 3. I really like skill 3 for that. The Fire Emblem Champion, if you guys watch the free to win account, um, I was using him in TOA all the time. 3 turn continuous damage now. Uh, Wipeout from the Water Emblem Champion uh, now inflicts continuous damage if the skill didn't ignore the enemy's defense. Even better, especially for like dungeons, especially for bosses. But it was our Water Emblem Champion was already good though. They're trying to trying to sell those transmogs. Well, the transmogs are already done. If you bought the transmogs, uh, stun target for 100% chance if you get a critical hit for the Wind Imp Champion. Light Imp Champion, Shining Spear before, attacks and recovers by the amount of inflicted damage, gets another turn if your HP is full. Now it attacks the enemy, creates a shield proportion to your damage for three turns, gets another turn if you get a critical hit. Uh, and then Dark One, uh, continuous damage if you blah blah blah. Um, so, Ciara description changed. Skill level of monsters modified. Okay, skill power up is damage plus and cooldown time minus and recovery plus. Okay. Since they're passives now. And then skill errors are resolved. Oh my goodness. They basically buffed every. <laughs> I mean, I know people, they're going to be like, where's the Shazam buff? Where's the. Hey, where's the Han buff? Hold on. It's good, you know what? It's good for the community overall. Still wish we had a Han buff. Still has no Shazam buff. Hey, Light Monkey buff though. Okay, Light Monkey. But I think this is a good balance patch. This is one of the better balance patches that we've had. The things that we said were 2 OP, 2 OP, 2 OP, 2 OP are nerfed, and the things that a lot of people were complaining needed to be buffed were buffed. I know not everyone is going to be super happy if you don't have a lot of these units and you're like, No, I have this unit. That didn't get buffed. Damn it. Can't please everyone, but oh my god, they tried to please as many people as humanly possible with this balance patch. It's pretty ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I can't wait to test some of these units out. That Light Monkey King is actually... Isn't the Light Monkey, the Light Monkey King is basically the best Monkey King at this point. Because he was, I've, in my opinion, he was already good. I already like using my Light Monkey King. Now, he's even, now I don't know why I wouldn't just use the Light Monkey King all the time. I think this is Thompson's fault. Thompson, this is your fault, isn't it? Thompson was like, hey, do you, do, do, do you remember? They were at, at Comptuous headquarters and they were like, let's talk about bouncing. And they were streaming, they're like, oh, Kumar buff, blah, 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 blah. And they were like, oh. Hey, hold on, why is the, the Fire Beast Monk is the only one that removes beneficial effects granted on target? Interesting. The other ones didn't get the... Well, the, the other ones are, had different uh, first skills anyway. So the other ones had... It's not all uh, continuous damage. But I would like to see the, the continuous damage first skills being removed from Nat 5s though. And and just better things overall. Because continuous damage, you want, you want the Nat 5s for PvP, right? Yeah, everything is there's so many different things that are good for PvE. There's so many different things that are good for dungeons So like the dragon knights like the chimeras like why do we care about the the, the one continuous damage though on the first skill like at least give like a uh, Like take a look at the stick boys, right? Take a look at the uh, the Taoists. The Taoists have a glancing hit and an attack break on the first skill That wouldn't be bad for PvP, right? That, that, that would be a nice buff to the or a nice change to the things that have the continuous damage instead But anyway, I think overall Really nice bounce patch. Good job, Com to us. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Can't wait to see how the how things change next season. I don't think things are going to change an insane amount in RTA. I think it'll just balance things a little bit better. And I'm curious to see. I'm gonna be using my Light Monkey King all the time now. Uh, but I'm curious to see. Man, there's a lot. So this is a pretty good balance match. Alright guys, uh, I know some people are going to disagree with me anyway, but I feel like this is based on what we could have, we could have had a bunch of nothing. We could have had a thing that they didn't listen at all, and they're like, you know what needs a buff? Molo! How about we also give him invincibility before he does skill 3? No, but at least we got, at least we got the things that the community, I mean... We can complain, but should we? They they listened. They, they really did. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Pretty crazy balance patch. Hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to test all these units. I will see you as always in the next one.